Hi there. So what we're going to do today is we're going to break down a very basic step for you and I need you to practice it very, very often and over and over again in order to get it right so that it's part of your body. And once you have the basic fundamentals, which I'm going to show you today, we can then add some more elements to it so as to improve it and take it up to an, uh, another level. Okay, so the first step we're going to do today is just called the New Yorker. The New Yorker is also known as a kick step, either in promenade position or counter promenade position. Normally, when you go towards the man's left, you are in a promenade position, and when you go towards the man's right, you're in a counter promenade position. So, let's start off. Of course, either way for a lady or gent is possible. So we're going to start like this because the man and the lady dance both directions. So we start here. I'm on the side and I'm going to be dancing towards you initially. All right. So you would stand here, put your right foot to the side, nicely on the big toe there, the inside edge of the big toe. Your weight is fully over the left leg. Before you move, you have to settle onto the left leg. Then once you have your weight here, you can push through the floor, lower the heel of your right foot, and push across so that your weight is over your right foot now. Okay? So, let me show you from here, from the front. You would stand with your right leg out over here. Then, your weight's on your left leg. You would settle onto the left leg, transfer your weight, you would push through the floor here to transfer your weight onto the right foot. Okay, so that's the first movement in your New Yorker. So, we've now stood on the left leg, we've settled onto the left leg. We transfer our weight completely over onto the right foot. As you settle into your right hip, you would then rotate a quarter turn there. So now it's turned 90 degrees to your right. You have to do this because it is a checked forward walk. So you actually have to step forward. You can't do a checked turning step. You might overturn like I just demonstrated now. But what you want to do is if you turn, you might have a gap between your feet or between your legs. And that's what you definitely don't want to do is to create that gap. So you have to rotate on the standing leg, being your right leg, and then take a step thereafter. So let's do it all together. You stand on the left leg, weight on the left leg, right foot to the side there. You settle on the left leg. As you push off your left leg, you transfer your weight onto your right leg. Then as you settle into your right hip, you bring that foot in. So now they're closed. Now you're ready to step forward and you shoot from the knee, shoot, with a turnout, slight turnout on your left foot, and you take, you swivel the ankle on your back foot. Now, the technique book says that your weight needs to be evenly distributed between the heel of the front foot and the ball of the back foot. What that basically means is your weight's in the middle. So if I demonstrate it again from a side profile, if I do it, so I'm going to be over here, my weight is on my left leg, I settle onto the left leg, I lower the heel, I push my weight onto the right leg. As I lower into the right heel, or the right hip, I now together, as I step, I shoot, I, from my knee, I shoot that leg, right? So I shoot, and I transfer my weight slightly forward, but now you see, it's on the ball of my right foot, the back foot. And my weight hasn't gone completely onto the left foot. It's right here in the middle. And that's where you want to be. You want to have your weight evenly distributed between the heel of the front foot and the ball of the back foot. Let's try that again. So you're standing on the one leg. You settle your weight. You transfer your weight onto the foot, settling here. As you settle, you turn one quarter. Then, as you continue moving forward, but not too much, this foot shoots out to get in advance of the body so that you can actually check your motion. Now your check step is used to stop your body to change direction. 
So now, if I continue, I put my weight too far onto the foot, I'm then going to continue forward, which is not a check step. Then it's a forward walk. So you check your weights in the middle between the two feet. You can rock your weight between the ball of the back foot, the heel of the front foot. Then, as you settle into your left hip, the knee comes in. As you settle into your left hip, your right knee comes in towards your left knee in the front. So if you watch it from the front, I have started here, I shot there, I checked. As I settle into my left hip, my right knee bends and comes towards the front knee. Alright, so that comes in there. Then of course, now your weight is a little bit more onto your front leg, which is your left leg in, in this case, and then you can then transfer your weight back again. Now make sure your step is not too big, because then you're going to be sliding the foot as you're trying to get your weight back onto the, onto the back foot. So let me demonstrate again. From the side, you're here. As you shoot, your weight's in the middle between the two feet. You settle into your front hip and your back knee goes towards the front knee there. Then as I push up my front foot, I then transfer my weight onto the back foot. Okay, then I bring that foot in and I turn a quarter to the left again because I step forward with my left leg. So if I demonstrate again towards you, I went towards you, I check the step, right, where I settled into my left hip, uh, left hip, my right knee moved towards my left knee, I make sure that my front leg does not bend. I see that a lot when I teach dancing, make sure that your front knee does not bend, I'll demonstrate that again later, but then you transfer your weight onto your back foot, you bring the foot in, and you turn a quarter to your left again to face where you were before. Then you've settled into your foot, your right hip, and now you can push off and take a side step again where you would turn this way to your left and check this way. Same principle where your legs are straight, your weight is in the middle between the two feet. You would then settle, transfer weight, and then turn again and you would repeat that over and over again. So let's watch that from the side once more. I'm here. I'm just going to go into the forward walk and not the rotation before that. So I shoot the leg. My leg, my weight is in between the two feet, right? The heel of the front foot, the ball of the back foot. I settle. Both my legs are straight here. Only my right leg bends. My left leg remains straight settle there. So now I've checked my movement. I then push up my front foot, release the heel of my front foot. So now I'm completely on my right leg. As I settle into my right leg, I face the front today. Then I transfer weight to the side. Now I'm still up. Okay. And of course, there's a lot of other details, which we'll go further into at a later stage. But for now, this is where you are. Then as you settle into your left hip, there again, and you check forward. Remember, we keep the front leg straight, the back leg straight. Back leg is on the ball of the foot. Then we settle into the right hip now. The left knee moves towards the right knee. This front leg is completely straight. And then I can push off, transfer my weight back onto the standing leg, which is the left leg, the back leg. And then as I bring that foot in, I face my partner again, because this is a partner step. And then I can transfer my weight and I'll do that over and over every time, very precise, over and over. So what I would like you to do is practice this over and over again, because not only is the check forward walk used in the New Yorker, it is used in a normal check forward basic, it is used in a fan position for the man. It is used in many, many other figures. So once you have a good grasp of this figure, you can do so much with it. And then we can work on dynamics, we can work on communication, we can work on timing and musicality. There's so many other things that we can add onto it, add in more body, add in more hips, speed, 
so many elements but once you've got the basic structure the skeleton then you can flesh it out a little bit more but practice this get it right